Oneness Pentecostals and John 10.30. Now this verse reads, I and my Father are one. And Oneness Pentecostals focus on the word one and they say, well look, if Jesus and the Father are one, it means that they're one single person, so therefore Jesus is the Father. Quite a ridiculous statement, really. Let me read this verse in Greek. In Greek, John 10.30 reads, Ego kai ho pater en esmen. Ego, I, kai, and, ho, the, pater, father, en, one, esmen, we are. Esmen is the verb in the sentence. In fact, that's a good place to start when you speak to a oneness Pentecostal. Just read the verse, I and my father are one, and ask him, where's the verb? Every sentence has a verb. Could he identify the verb to you? And the verb in this sentence is the word are. Technically, it's we are. It's not uh, written down as we are because it simply wouldn't read very well in the English. I and my father, we are one. Perfectly legitimate translation, but it sounds better if you say I and my father are one. So the word for are, we are, esmen, is a first person plural of the verb to be, present tense. Now here's the thing, if Jesus were the father, he wouldn't use a first person plural, he'd use a first person singular. He would say, I am the Father, not I and the Father, we are one. So that's the first point. The second point is that unfortunately quite a few Christians, quite a few Trinitarians are rather confused about the word one. They'll often say, well Jesus is claiming to be God, deity in this verse, and they're right. But they make the mistake of thinking that his use of the word one is his claim to deity and it definitely isn't let me read john 17 21 to 22 that all may be one just as you father are in me and i in you that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me i have given them that they may be one just as we are one so that they may be one just as we are one so if the use of the word one means that Jesus is God, then Jesus' use of the word one, applying it to his followers, to Christians, would mean that, as a Christian, I'm as much deity as Jesus, <laughs> which is ridiculous, patently ridiculous. There's three words for one in the Greek. Heus, which is masculine, mia, which is feminine, and here we have the neuter word for one, which is hen. And all that hen means is one in agreement. So when Jesus says, I and my father, esmen, we are, hen, one, neuter, he's simply saying that he and his father are in agreement. It's not a claim to deity. Now my third and final point is that whatever Jesus says in John 10, 30, he definitely says something which sets the Jews off and makes them very angry with him because in the next verse, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him, John 10, 31. Jesus answered them, many good works have I shown you from my father. From which of these works do you stone me? The Jews answered him saying, for a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy. Because you, being a man, make yourself God. So something Jesus said in this verse annoyed the Jews and they believed that he was speaking blasphemy because he was claiming to be God. Now it's not the word one, I can assure you. In English, when we talk about other people, it's always polite to put the other person first, especially if they're of a higher status than us. So I talk about, um, you know, I went to see my dentist. I talk about my dentist and myself. Or if I met the Queen, I talk about the Queen and myself. Or if I met David Cameron, the Prime Minister, I talk about David Cameron and myself. We put the other person first out of politeness, but certainly if the person is of a higher, a higher status than ourself in society. Now, in Jewish culture, when you mention God, you put God first, because God is not only of a higher status, he's of a higher nature, he's better than us, he's deity, we're not deity. So you put God's name first, and you always put yourself second, because you are less than God and subordinate to God, as I am too. And Jesus, in John 10:30, he says, I and my father 
we are one. He puts himself before his father. So that's the claim to deity in John 10.30. Now, we probably miss that in our English and our American 21st century Western cultures. But in Jewish thought, when you put your name before the name of God, that was an absolute claim to deity. And that's what Jesus is doing in John 10.30. He's claiming that he himself is absolute and complete deity. I and my Father himself first, a claim to deity. And then Jesus says, first person plural, we are, meaning there's two of us, there's the Father and myself, he's not saying I am the Father, and then he uses the word, the neuter word for one, which simply means one in agreement. And that's John 10.30. Simple. Thank you.